Hi, my name is Mitch Grease. I own a company called Art Tech Design and Advertising. We specialize in corporate brand identity, and under that umbrella, I design and build replica drilling rigs and oil and gas equipment. You might look at this rig and say, okay, how do you drill a horizontal well with something like this? What you do, uh, typically, you'll, you'll drill down, and we'll just talk about the Bakken formation here, okay? The Bakken formation, the, the purpose of horizontal drilling isn't to go steal your, your neighbor's oil. The purpose of horizontal drilling is for production. When you drill into the Bakken formation, you may get 8, 12 feet of formation there. Well, when you drill down 10,000 feet and have to produce out of uh, an oil bearing formation that's only 8 to 12 feet deep, you're not getting very, very good production. So if you can get into that formation and drill another 10,000 feet to the horizontal leg inside that formation, you're going to get a whole lot more production. So what you're going to do is you're going to drill down. On the, on the drilling rig, there's a rotary table that turns your drill pipe. And you have a drill bit, and on the end of that, you've got drill collars. That drill, drill bit turns, brings up your cuttings, dumps them in the mud pit. When you're done with your, ver with, your, with your vertical leg, you'll trip all that drill pipe out. Then you'll put on what's called a mud motor, okay? This mud motor, eight inches around, about 30 feet long. And inside this, mudder, this mud motor uh, is an impeller shaft, okay? That's turned by your mud pump pressure. And it's, at the end of this, uh, it starts off at about a two degree angle. And in, in inside there, it's pretty complex. It's got a U-joint, um, you know, a complex U-joint in there. So after you're done drilling your vertical leg, you'll drop your drill string back in the well. Now on top of this mud motor is going to be uh, a non-magnetic drill collar called a MWD unit, okay? It's got all this instrumentation inside there where you can actually track where you're at and where you're drilling. So you, you drop your, your drill string back down the hole. Now you don't turn up at the rotary table anymore. Okay, you, you, cook, you kick your mud pumps on. Now your mud pump pressure is gonna turn that impeller shaft inside that mud motor, which in turn is gonna turn your drill bit. Okay, now your drill bit is doing all the turning and you're just, you're just uh, drilling by weight, how much, how much weight you get on this drill bit. And you start off at a two degree angle and then you go horizontal into that, into that formation and that's how a horizontal well is, is drilled. Okay, the silver truck you see here in the front is a, is a wire line truck. It's got a, a wire line spool in the back of it that goes down the well bore, and when you're ready to frack your well, they send an instrument, a tool down there, that will send, that, uh, sends charges into the, into the formation to frack it. And that's, that's the primary function of the silver truck here. It's called a wireline truck. Frack means when you, when you drill into a formation, okay, you're drilling into a, to a, it, it's a, it would more than likely be a porous formation, but it's a solid formation, okay? In order to get the oil out of that, say like the Bakken oil shale, okay, that oil is embedded in this shale rock. When you drill through that, you need to open it up. So what you do is you go down and, and once you drill through that, and, and case it, what you do is you, you go down and blow it up, okay, with, with high pressure uh, fluids. Mm -hmm. And then what that does is uh, it, it opens up that formation and then lets the oil drain into the casing. But you also pump uh, uh, glass beads or sand into that formation too to hold those, hold those fractures open so they don't just collapse again. And then they serve as a filtering device to let your oil come into the casing.